In this video, I'll show you how to service a giant contact dropper seat post. Now this service procedure will apply whether you're changing the air cartridge inside or just want to take it apart, clean and regrease it. I'll be using one of the newer ones in this video, which are easier to work on than the older ones. So let's get started. The only thing that you'll really need to do this is some suspension grease like Slick Honey, and you may need an adjustable wrench like this one. Before we remove the seat post, we're going to add some slack to the cable. So the first thing that you want to do, this little lock ring, you want to turn this all the way counterclockwise so it touches the big part, and then turn the whole thing clockwise. Again, we're adding slack to the cable so that it makes it easier to take the seat post out. Before removing the seat post, take note of its height, and you can do that by looking at the numbers on the back of the seat post. Now I'm going to remove the seat post from the bike. Now as you do, you're going to be pulling out this cable so sometimes it helps to feed it back through from the head tube uh, and then you're going to just pull the seat post out now that we have the seat post out of the bike you're just going to unthread the collar up top and that should just be hand tight if it's really hard to get off you may just want to use like a grip pad and then just slide that up at the bottom of the seat post we're going to unthread this piece and this is where you'll probably need an adjustable wrench to get a grip on that and that shouldn't be too tight I'm just going to loose it with the adjustable wrench and you may be able to just twist it off with your hands. Once this is loose, just pull it out. And that is your air cartridge assembly. Now I want to point out here, it's going to depend which part of the cartridge is tighter than the other one. So you'll notice there's threads here at the top. As I twisted this part, it unthreaded out of the top of the C-post. What may happen is this part may twist off as you unthread it from the bottom of the seat post and then you may have the air cartridge assembly sticking out like that. Regardless of which piece comes off first, you'll want to remove the air cartridge. So if this threaded off without the air cartridge, then what you're going to do is just unthread the cartridge either by hand. There is a place on this one to put a wrench, so you could put a wrench on there. But all it does is it untwists and it threads out of the top and slides right out. And if your air cartridge is no longer working, this is the piece that you would get from Giant, so you would just put another one back in. But before we do that, we're going to clean off the seat post by cleaning out the internals. So the outer post just pulls off, and I wanna make a note here that there are plastic keys and there are grooves inside the post, so obviously the post won't twist while you're using it. So when we put it back together, we're gonna to line those up. Just take a clean rag or paper towel, put a little rubbing alcohol on it, and we're just gonna wipe off the post. You'll also wanna clean the inside of this post, again, with a clean rag or paper towel. You're gonna wipe it out, and then what I like to do is just push the paper towel through with something like a spoke, a screwdriver, anything that will just push that paper towel through and clean it out. Time to reassemble. I'm just gonna take some of my suspension grease, like the Slick Honey, put it on the post. Now we're gonna put the outer post on, and remember to line up those keys with the grooves inside. And to get it started, you may have to kind of wiggle it back and forth. Once you get it past that initial part, it should slide right on, slide it all the way up to the top. Now we're going to put the air cartridge inside. Now obviously if you've got a new air cartridge, just put the new one in. And then once it gets up and makes contact with the top of the seat post up here, you're just going to thread it. And it should thread right in there. And just hand tight. That's all you got to do. Now slide the outer post down. And I'm going to put just a little bit of slick honey on these threads. I always like to use grease on threads and we're just going to twist this into the bottom of the seat post for the last part you'll probably want to use the adjustable wrench just to get some grip on there and this is also just very gently snugged it's all you got to do before we thread the collar on just put a tiny bit of the suspension grease on those threads and this is going to be slick. Your hands are going to probably have some grease on it. So you may have to use a grip pad, but all I'm doing is just threading that collar on, 
Again, just hand tight. My final step is I'm just gonna wipe off the outside, wipe off any excess grease, because you don't wanna attract dirt. Now it's time to reinstall the seat post. Before I do, if it's an aluminum seat post and an aluminum frame, you can put just some general WD-40. This is one of the only times I recommend using just basic WD-40 on a bike. So just spray a little bit in there, move it around with your fingers. Sometimes I like to spray a little bit on the post. This just keeps the post from creaking. And if you have a carbon frame, then just put some carbon safe grease down inside the seat tube before you put the seat post back in. We're gonna hook the end of the cable into the seat post. A lot of times you'll have kind of a black little washer here. Make sure that goes into the seat post. And then pull the cable, the tip of the cable, this ferrule, just make sure it goes up in there. Now what it's easiest to do is to pull the cable in from the head tube as you push the seat post in. And keep pulling on that cable up at the head tube. Set your seat post at the desired height. Take the slack out of your cable by turning the barrel adjuster counterclockwise and then tighten the lock nut. So that is how you service a giant contact seat post. Any questions or comments that you have, drop those below. Thanks for watching.